In the grand field of animation lies the art of puppetry and 2D rigging. And in the plethora of apps and software that specialize in that art, we find Moho and Adobe Character Animator. And in today's video, we'll see how they compare to each other and which one is better. <laughs> Dramatic intro aside, let's get into the tools and workflow. You might already be familiar with this software if you're a longtime follower of our channel, but to simply put it, Moho is a vector-based 2D animation software that combines traditional animation techniques with modern ones. So it basically offers the set of tools that you will need to draw and make puppets and simple frame-by-frame -frame animations with the added benefit of being able to rig and customize the bone structure of your creations. Yes, albeit vector-based, Moho provides a simple work environment similar to that of any animation software, equipped with a timeline and a layer system, a bunch of really cool customizable brushes and even the option to control the strokes you make. But what might set it apart from traditional software is the way you can rig your characters and manipulate their movements smoothly while also being dynamic thanks to the physics properties that you can apply to it. Moho also succeeds at simplifying the animating process thanks to some of the shortcuts that it offers around that. For example, the smart bone option makes handling complex deformations in your characters easier instead of having to struggle with perspective and foreshortening like you might be traditionally. Besides being a great and solid animation software, you can get Moho for a one-time purchase only. The debut version, aka standard, is $60, while the full package version or the pro one comes in the price of $400, allowing animators of all levels to bring their creative visions to life. Keep in mind, prices are subject to change depending on when you watch this video. Adobe Character Animator Adobe Character Animator is another software that's a part of the Adobe Creative Cloud, with a sole focus on creating real-time puppet animations, letting you create lip-synced characters with ease. Character Animator already houses a good amount of different pre-made puppets for you to choose from upon launch, but if you're not too keen on those, you can always bring other puppet models you made in Photoshop or Illustrator, since it's compatible with their file format. From here, you can control your character movements and behaviors under the Rig tab, or manage the voice input through the Record tab where the fun lies, since you'll be able to see your characters in motion thanks to the facial tracking technology Adobe offers. So basically, with a well-rigged model and using your webcam and microphone, the software will record and track any facial or body movements you make and apply it to the puppet directly while creating all of what's necessary in the timeline for you to manipulate later on, saving you on what might take you days of work to animate manually. Character Animator comes in a free version that is sufficient for the people who just want to create simple and quick animations, but if you want a little more control over your character, you can get the pro version that's locked behind the Creative Cloud All Apps plan Adobe offers. The plan will also let you access other apps that are compatible with it. Learning Curve it comes as no surprise that mastering puppetry requires a skill set of its own on top of the traditional animation one, and learning how to use Moho or Character Animator, especially to their fullest potential, requires having both of these skill sets. Character Animator definitely takes the cake here for having the gentler learning curve, especially for beginners, as it's not that complicated to navigate and explore while also allowing them to get already made puppets that they can use on the go or customize to their liking using any art software later on. While Moho can have the steeper curve due to how overwhelming it is with all of its features, so getting accustomed to the interface, settings, tools, and understanding how to manipulate them might take a while. Pros and cons. Every tool has its own pros and cons depending on how you are planning to use it. Moho is a superb animation software with advanced rigging capabilities for high control and flexibility over your work. It also allows for creating simple animations to more complex and detailed ones, making it ideal for professional use. But those same features result in Moho being a bit harder to grasp for beginners and the lack of real-time tools for live content and animators might be a step back for some of you who want to streamline their characters. Character Animator excels in that aspect thanks to the more beginner-friendly interface and real-time tracking features and takes it a step forward with the free templates that you can choose from and customize, saving you the hassle of drawing and rigging the characters yourself. But that simplicity comes with limitations in how detailed those animations are and how much control you have over them. 
Final verdict. It's always hard to give a finite answer to which software is better as it depends on your use and what you are trying to achieve in the first place. If you're more into creating simple live content for streaming, explainer videos or just want to make nice looking animated characters fast, then with ease, then Character Animator should be your go-to. But if you have some time to invest and you're willing to dip your toes into the professional realm or prefer having total control over your animations and how they move and behave, then and Moho is the answer. In the end, both software are great depending on what they offer and do respectively, so choosing the right pick will always boil down to your preferences, goals and how much you enjoy using them, so don't hesitate to try them to make the right decision. And this was all for today's video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and tell us whether you are Team Moho or Team Character Animator. We hope that you enjoyed and learned something new. Stay safe and see you next time.